This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Color Tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.7. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video, I'll show you how to change the color of a single object in the frame. This is called a secondary color correction. Sometimes you don't want to change the entire shot. You just want to change a piece of the shot. This is called a secondary color correction. For instance, here, this footage was shot by Amy Catfox Campion and her, her team at Antics Performance down in Rio in Brazil. And it's a wonderful dance scene where our performer is just going crazy. But I really don't like those yellow concrete blocks. They need to be a different color. This is, this is a, they, they, they need to be green. That's what they need. Maybe blue. Probably green, though. Select the clip. Let's go up to here, and this time we're going to select Hue Saturation Curves. There are six settings here. I can select a hue and change the hue. Select a hue and change its saturation. Select a hue and change its brightness. Select brightness and change its saturation. Select saturation and change its saturation or change a face, optimize a face color, skin color. Let's just do something simple. We'll do hue versus hue. Click the eyedropper so it turns blue. That means it's active. Click on the color you want to change, which is here, and it displays the start of that color, the end of the color, and the center of the color. Grab the center dot and drag it down. It becomes green or cyan or pink or blue. Or red will make it green right about there whoa and the nice thing is notice it doesn't require rendering and yet it tracks as the, wherever that color is wherever that color exists it tracks well how about this let's take a look at this Hmm, what can we do with, you know, I really like those flowers, but they're just the wrong color. <laughs> Let's change the color. So we'll go to Hue Saturation Curves. Again, we're going to change Hue versus Hue. Click the eyedropper, and we'll click sort of the middle of the color, not the brightest, not the darkest, and it's isolated the color. And let's make it, uh, green is too much. There we go, that's appropriate. And now as we play the clip, we now have our, magenta flowers waving in the wind. Wow. And normally it doesn't need rendering. It requires rendering this time because it's a 4K clip that's been put into a, a much smaller timeline, 1600 by 900. What I want to do now, let's just reset this by clicking the hooky arrow. Click the eyedropper because it's blue. Let's click some green here. We need to change the season. I don't want it to be summer. I want it to be fall. If I grab here, this adjusts the borders of those colors. So you can include or exclude certain amounts of the color. For instance, here, by dragging this way out, notice that now I've included all the green of the leaf or just parts of the green of the leaf by adjusting this slider. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Color Tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.7. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 362. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.